Calvin Forrest is in the interview. Um, interview I just seen. I don't know the channel, whatever. It must be Baltimore based. On the ropes boxing. And uh the, the channel is Zed Brooks Multimedia. Uh Zed Brooks Multimedia. He says that Coach Calvin Forrest says that he wants Javante Davis. Um, but if uh, you know, I mean he wants Javante Davis versus Devin Haney. If they can't get that, then they gonna roll. They, you know, Eastside Cruz is the backup plan. So we know what it is, bro. Um, we know what they're aiming for. Uh, he could have fought Devin Haney, and you know, last fight in top rank would have facilitated it. But you know, they don't want you know nobody to be you know touching their fighters or whatever or whatever. But. It is what it is. It's number, space, and opportunity here. Um, and the key word is that's what Calvin Ford want. But what do Tank Davis want? What do Al Heyman want? That's the question. Um, they like undisputed don't matter when Devin got the belts. They like belts didn't matter. Any, when anybody had the belt, they didn't feel like they could whoop on. They act like it didn't matter. So, um, I mean, that's up to them, man. Uh, they can do whatever they feel. It's what you feel. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? They can do whatever they want to feel like and however they feel like they want to pivot this, but that's up that's up to them. But at the end of the day, when I heard that interview, you already know, man, told y'all he they fight Esau Cruz next. Or well, if Esau Cruz look good, man, and you know he's the pivot, man. But we you know we trying to get Haney. They ain't trying to get no Devin Haney. If they is trying to get Devin Haney, they trying to lock him up into um they trying to lock they trying to lock dog up into a slave deal. They trying to lock him up into the to a slave deal, and we and we know how the game go, and we know how the game go. They trying to lock dog up against into a slave deal, you know. Oh, you got to stay at PBC for life and all and all this type of stuff, and you know we we know we know how the game go. So it's not going to be a smooth transition. On top of that, Tank on if Tank hot wired the fight versus Ryan Garcia, if you don't know what I mean by hot wired, he put all these stipulations in there and all that. Dude, that man, come on, that dude ain't confident. That dude ain't confident. I keep telling y'all that it, it, confident fighters don't do that. You know what I'm saying? Well, we the A side and we could do it, man. PBC Mayweather didn't fuck the game up so much. You got guys thinking just because. They got a little popularity that they did a side up in uh in boxing or whatever. And it's cool. You can believe what you want to believe. You know, who, who am I to tell you different? I'm just bringing real. But if you feel like you're the better man, what you need stipulations for? What we need rehydration clause for? What we need catch weights for? You know? We we don't we don't we don't need all that, bro. We don't we don't need all that, bro. Go whoop them fair and square. You know, and you know, Devin Haney already said that he ain't he ain't doing no catch weight or no rehy excuse me, no rehydration clause. So, you know, at the end of the day, they want to act like everything on their accord and everything like dude, Devin Haney don't need Tank Davis. It'd be nice. It'd be nice. He the one that's that's hanging around the weight. Just to trying to make the best fights. He the only one that's trying to make these best fights. Other dudes just running their mouth. I'll tell you that right now because they promoters, you know, ain't trying to make that fight. Like I told you about Shakir Stevenson. He's saying one thing, but top rank saying a whole different thing behind the scenes. Real talk. So, you know, top rank ain't for building up black fires and wasting no money on two brothers. They gonna want to build that fight up until possible. They, they don't feel like he can whoop his ass. They feel like he got to get bigger and Devin got to get bigger. You got to understand that you know what these fighters want and what the, the master plan is from the promoter. It's it's totally different. It's totally different. So the fighter can come out in public and say all oh, this type of shit, but just look at what the fighter doing next. You talk to other fighters that they that they calling out, and guess what? There was never an offer sent. Oh, they never sent the offer. Now it was an offer sent because it was a complete pump fake. Maybe not because the fighters want what they want. 
the fighters want what they want. And, 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 and rightfully so. And rightfully so. They should want what they want. But the promoters and the people that's putting the money up, they taking them the safest route possible. The route of least resistance. You know, they trying to pre- they trying to preserve they j- they trying to preserve they trying to pre- preserve they they fighters, bro. That's just what it is. They trying to preserve their fighters. They trying to preserve it. And to be honest, and I'll be honest, rightfully so. They the ones putting the money up. So, you know, he already, man, like I said, if you just listen to what these dudes be saying, they be telling on themselves. They be telling on themselves. Well, you know, we'll take with well, Esau Cruz the pivot plan. They be trying to let y'all down softly. Like on some kill, like they on some uh, killing me softly, Lauren Hill shit, Fuji shit. They let you know exactly, he let you know exactly what the play is. They let you know exactly what the play is. That's what that's what they want to do next. They're gonna fight Isaac Cruz next. That's who they probably wanted to fight all the way along. But the thing about fight Isaac Cruz, and I said this in another video, they ain't built up Isaac Cruz no better, no, no, no significantly to do it again. All Isaac Cruz promotions, Sean, Sean Gibbons and Manny Pacquiao done. All they've done is just you know, fight nobody's. How you gonna raise his profile up to, to get the man? Y'all supposed to put him in their main events against killers or against other known fighters so he could look like a killer. That's what should that's that what should be the plan. That should be the plan. So he could raise his profile. Man, we on man, this dude been fighting on the undercards and stuff, and he's gonna be the co-feature to uh he gonna be the co-feature to uh Errol Smith and Terrence Crawford. And that's gonna be hoping they that's they gonna hope that raises his profile. But he need to be in the main event by now, bro. At least once. At least once. You know? But um, you know what? That's 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 what they got going on. Uh, and that's where you headed to. You know, instead of keeping that momentum going, they ain't trying to fight no Devin Haney. You know, instead of keeping that that momentum going and and, and going from a, a Javante to a Ryan or Javante to a, a Shakur Stevenson or I don't know or Javante, um, Frank Martin or somebody like that, or or or, or whoever they of course they gonna take a step back. They not gonna this whole career been a tune up. So don't give me the bullshit where uh where. Where he deserved a tune up because he had it, that was a tune up. Ryan Garcia was a tune up. That was a tune up. Let's keep it real. So we already know where they're going with this at and fine. They ain't doing nothing but hurting themselves in the long run and hurting their brand in the long run. They fighting, they fighting, they fighting uh Esau Cruz, two niggas. That's what it sounded like to me. I could be wrong. Remember Devin Haney willing to compromise to get Tank Davis in the ring? Maybe he willing to uh he willing to compromise some more. You know. But you know, Tank got a Tank feel like he need a uh Tank feel like he he need he need, he need cushion. And that on screen to be a top pound for pound fighter to me. Um that on screen, you know, a confident fighter to me. You know, and they move him like he protected. They move him like he he is special, he's special. And not in a good kind of way. You know, but that's what we probably headed to. That's probably what we headed to. 
So I ain't, I mean, it is what it is, you know. And I, I thought Tank was about to turn like 26, 27. That dude about to turn 29. That dude about to turn 30, bro. Dirty 30. Be 29 November, so. And to me, ain't still had a hard day in the boxing ring. So take a fight you want to take it. But hey, thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and the subscribe button, hit the bell icon the button, hit all notifications, increase your chance, get notifications. We go live and drop a video. Financially want to support the channel. Cash app dollar sign CJ Good313. Venmo CJ Good313. PayPal link in the description. Hit the link tree. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, Cash App, Venmo, PayPal, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, the whole nine. Uh, let me know what your girls and guys think in the comment section. Peace.